Now aquatic plants. Aquatic plants, they grow in water, very simple. Aqua means water. Now aquatic plants can be divided into three major groups, three categories. One, floating plant. Very simply, they float on water. They have hollow stem, that is spongy stem, which contains air, which helps them to float on water. Example, water hyacinth, water cabbage, dark wheat. Second one is underwater plant. They totally remain underwater. Now, if they remain underwater totally, they have some special characters. What are those characters? First of all, throughout the body surface, they have stomata, and with the help of the stomata, they breathe. Hydrilla, conduit, that is the example. These are the examples of underwater plants. One more plant, more type of plant is fixed plant. They have some, not some, lot of specialities. What are the, those specialities? Their roots remain attached in the soil under the pond, under the water of the pond. Their stem remains in water, that is water of the pond. Their leaves just float on the surface of the water and their flowers and fruits remains just above the level of water in the air. So they occupy the total system, soil, water, air. In every part they are present. Very common example, lotus and water lily. Other than that, all of you know that the plants can make their own food, so they are called autotrophs. But some plants are there which are carnivorous, that means they can make their own food. Still, they like to eat insect. Better to say they have to eat insect. These are called carnivorous plants. Example, pitcher plant, venus fly trap, sundew. Now question is that, if are green, so they have chlorophyll, they can make their own food. Still, they have to depend on insects. Why? It is because, usually they, they grow in marshy area and they suffer from deficiency of nitrogen and to fulfill the requirement of nitrogen they have to eat insects now one special group of plant another special group is grass if you think about grass what do you think about grass here and there you see so many grasses are there. But do you know that bamboo is also a grass? That big one, long one, bamboo, that is also a grass. Paddy is grass, wheat is grass, all these are in grass plant. So many, we, we get uh, so many things from grasses, say rice, wheat, etc, etc. So this is all of the plants and uh, on the next video I will discuss about animals.